Hi guys, Andy here. I've been up to uh, Phone's Fee this morning and purchased myself a Motorola G. If you've not heard of the Motorola G, you can be forgiven for that. It's uh, To me it seems to have come to market pretty quick. Uh, I think it got announced just a few weeks ago by Motorola um, and then it's here already. What's the deal with the Moto G? Why would you want a Moto G? I think it's really the price. This sent me back under £130 uh, and that includes a £10 top up which to be honest, I'll probably just throw away, but it makes it five pound cheap when you buy it with a top up, kind of subsidized, I suppose. The first thing you perhaps notice is the size of the box. That's why I've got the old Nexus 5 box out here. Look at the difference, it's really quite bizarre. Makes you wonder why do you need the box this size when it fits in there? It's got a 4.5 inch screen on it, so it's not that the device itself is tiny, it's not as big as the Nexus, I guess. But uh, anyway, so 135 pound, you can't really go wrong, you would imagine, I hope. Um, so uh, this is the 8 gig version, there will be a 16 gig version coming out but it's not out just yet. Um, I think that will be close to about £150, so if you compare like for like, the 16 gig versus 16 gig, uh, the Nexus is twice as expensive, if this is 150 and that's 300 So we're going to have a bit of a look around and a bit of a, bit of a play um, to see what it's all about. Let's go. Okay, so do we need to see anything particular on the box? Bit of a description on the back. Um, some apps on the bottom. I don't know why you want to necessarily put the apps, but hey, in we go. Now I was kind of annoyed because the guy at the shop opened the box up. He had to put the SIM in and register apparently. So I did say he said, "What are you buying it for?" I said, "Well, an unboxing." So I'm kind of annoyed you've opened it already. He said, "Oh yeah, sorry, I have to." Though. So anyway, oh that's interesting. Look, he left it on. Thanks very much. So let's see, do we can we turn this off? I think that's probably going to boot up anyway. So there we go. It's a 4.5 inch screen uh, with Corning Gorilla Glass. I, th I think three. Just say on the back there something about. It just says Corning Gorilla Glass HD display. Fair enough. Um, kind of a sort of soft touch rubberized back display. You would say, yeah, not particularly premium, but it's not, it doesn't feel cheap. Reasonably weighted device, 143 grams in total. Um, on the back here, we have a 5 megapixel camera. On the front there, we have a 1.3 megapixel camera, so reasonable. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of camera snobs, and probably anything less than 8 megapixels these days, they might be saying, you know, not interested, but then the HTC One's only four, and that produces some pretty great shots. Obviously, a little speaker there. We see a speaker grill on the back, the Motorola emblem. I mean, generally, so that's sort of quite classy looking. I'm going to go ahead and peel off. Now, also, obviously, obviously I'm, I presume you're aware, Google bought Motorola like over a year ago, I think now. Um, but the way things work, you know, with product design and, and such and their uh, lead times, that this is apparently the first device that's been made with sort of Google's influence, shall we say. And I think generally it's very classy looking. It's neat and smart. It feels solid, solid enough that it doesn't worry you. It seems pretty sturdy. I can't make it, can't make it creak or groan. We've got the power button and then it looks like the volume rocker on the same side. The micro USB, the microphone, the headphone jack at the top, sorry. Um, and the back does come off because, like I say, I saw him, but not, not very easily, basically. Well, he made it look hard. I'm going to run my thumb around the edge there. And that's... Oh, now it has turned on, look. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing to get into. See that booting up look. Still the back, there we go, so the back's finally off. Now, there we go. So I'm on EE, I'm fairly sure the device doesn't have 4G. Um, I don't believe so. Still beeping things at me, so we've got different text messages coming in. Now, I guess that's the battery, and I think it's kind of enclosed, although that look, almost looks like it could. Mine's got the flash built into it. 
It does almost look like you could get it out, but maybe you need some little screws to add, I'm not sure. I shan't worry too much. There's my SIM card. So you can see there, it's micro SIM. Just pop that. Come oh, on, there you go. Snap the back. Back on, relatively easy. Now, what have I done to the front? Let's have a look. First impressions. Oh, go away. First impressions is this. Pretty slick. Um, it's running Android 4.3, so not the latest version, but then that's what you've got to give them a break. It only literally only just came out. 4.4 uh, and it just came out a couple of weeks back. So to have 4.3 on it is pretty good. Um, we're promised, I believe, the 4.4 update will be coming within a month or two, which isn't too bad. You know, that, that'll hopefully hold its own against um, against the others, you know, getting theirs maybe even before that. Um, so what do we know about the device? Let's give you some of the specs. So I've already mentioned 143 grams. The display size, 4.5 inches. It's 1280 by 720, which is 329 pixels per inch. Now, I suppose some of the new devices are clocking up over 400, but actually 329 beats the iPhone 5, which is 326. <laughs> okay, only three pixels per inch, but it does beat it. Um, initial sort of view on the screen, I think that looks pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, nice vibrant colours, pretty clear text. Again, it's always quite hard to show this sort of thing on a video, but I would say that looks really clear. Viewing angles, try and go so it's not reflecting something too light, it's a bit hard. Generally, pretty good. I mean, again, I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but even when I've only got a couple of degrees view on it, that's 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 a pretty good, it's a pretty good display. Um, the battery is 2,070 milliamp hours, which is pretty good. Again, it doesn't match up to the S4 or the Nexus 5, um, but still, it's over 2,000, so you've got to think that's probably going to be enough. It's got uh, Wi-Fi BGN, N, which is which is good. Bluetooth 4.0, so it's got the newest versions of Bluetooth. You'll be able to use your low-energy devices with it. Um, as I mentioned, it's got 4.3 Jelly Bean. And uh, this particular one, like I think I said already, has got 8GB. You will be able to get a 16GB version coming out soon. The processor is a Qualcomm uh, Quad Core A7, but I'm, I'm sure I've heard it referred to as a, as a 400, whereas the Nexus has the 800, this is a, um, a 400. But uh, on the website it says it's Qualcomm MSM 8 X26 quad core A7, 1.2 gigahertz, Adreno 305, 450 megahertz GPU. So I think that's pretty good, uh, pretty good specs really. Quad core and a decent GPU in there as well. So there wouldn't appear to be anything holding this device back for for 135 pounds. You've got to think that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good buy. Let's, um, let's see if we can just bring up a YouTube video just to get a rough idea. Oh dear. Not now. Just show me something trending. So I actually logged into my Google Play account as well. It's, it's just running a bunch of updates. Just thought I'd show you there is a notification light. I know some people wonder because apparently there have been some phones that don't have them. Which kind of amazes me really, to be honest. But this does. Reasonable one. You know, not too bright, but enough to notice that something's going on. My play movie didn't seem to load. Let's try. Uh, Try something on Miley Cyrus. It's on high quality already. You're watching BBC Radio One's Live Lounge with me, Miley Cyrus. That looks a bit odd, but maybe that's the video. Let's try. Let's actually try a different video. Off you go, Miley. No idea what this is. Did it say Noah? Official trailer? We're still HD, that's fine.
I would say that looks pretty great to be honest. Again, should I find... Oh, it's quite loud as well. It'll not be averse. Man corrupted this world. Filled it with violence. Uh, so we... It's always quite hard to sort of show the quality, but I can tell you that looks that looks really good. I know and that's not by the way for it to, to re reload. I know some people might be saying, oh it's only 720p, but not being funny, I just bought a TV that's only 720p and that's got a 32 inch screen this is a four and a half inch screen it's 720p you know that's plenty of pixels you I, I really don't think you'll notice the difference um the other thing i was going to look at real quick is it's only an 8 gig phone oh dear look at that so total space five and a half gig available 4.64 all i've done is updated the apps that are on there i've not installed anything else um so yeah, you're not going to have a lot of space, but then, you know, you've paid £130, you will be able to pay 150 for one that's twice as much space, and obviously you probably will get 8 gig more, so where it was, what did they say, 5.5, you probably will have 13.5, um, which that, I would think, should be enough, hopefully. Let's have a look, or let's have a listen, I should say. Let's put some JSON on. Again, good looking screen, it really is. Jason! Jason! Jason <laughs> That sounds pretty good, I would say. That really does sound good. I mean, not, you know, it's. I've had arguments with people online about, you know, what's the point of doing a, a speaker test where you play music? Who listens to music out of their phone? Well, no, granted, but it gives you an idea of just how, what volume the, the speaker can, can give. Um, and that sounded pretty loud, I've got to say. So, first impressions, this is a pretty amazing device for 135, well, 130 pounds. Really is. Stock Android, a lot of people love stock Android. Oh, hang on, this is all different, isn't it? Or a little bit different. Settings, gallery. So settings in from this side. And gallery, which of course there's none at the minute. Let's take a little picture of my old buddy over here. So how do we... Oh, so it's not touch to focus, it's touch to, touch to snap. And that's brought up Google now. Sorry, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. So I literally just... Um, see uh, gallery I suppose it's fine thank you uh, so initial impressions well it's not bad I'm not sure it focused properly on either but I'm not sure if you haven't got touch to focus now quite what we do we've got the HDR mode let's put HDR on let's try again yeah that's <laughs> It just strikes me, maybe I'm supposed to wait for it to focus on him. It's a pretty quick, pretty quick snap. It takes a little time to work out the HDR. That doesn't look too bad a picture to me. Anyway, sorry, this is supposed to be a brief first look. So, as I was saying, all round, I would say, pretty impressive device, for £135. Um, I'll do some tests against the Nexus 5, I think it... It, you know, I think it is in that kind of category, which is in itself is probably uh, quite an accolade. So, you know, 135 pound device being put up against a 300 pound device. When I get my S4 back, I'll even perhaps do some against the S4 if it's uh, well. We'll see how it performs. Um, obviously, there'll be other videos going up. I'll do some some video samples. Uh, if you don't already, subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.